Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can see you. Awesome. Yeah. First, I want to thank you for giving your valuable time to me and allowing me to talk with you. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> so, where are you from? I'm from England. I'm in Herefordshire in the countryside. Okay. So, I have gone through your profile. You are a writer. Yeah, yeah, I write um young adult crime fiction. So, lots of um fantastical creatures in there as well, like angels and unicorns and or fake creatures. So, um my debut novel is Sandy Chase and the Unicorn Code. Okay. So, yeah, it's all creepy and spooky. Gender chase and the unicorn code. What is this? Yeah, it's um, it's a little tale. Do you want me to read you the blurb? I just have seen the 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 top layer of the book. That's it. I don't know anything more than that. <laughs> okay. So, Lily Hunt Star is a 15-year-old like no other. She is the sole survivor of a mass murder, and is suspected of being the half-mad murderess. Detective Stacy has her doubts about Lily's guilt. And when a stranger comes asking bizarre questions, she, along with Lily, is pulled into the core of the case. Okay, let's have a look. So, um, Xander Chase is an angel of death and judiciary spirits. And he is investigating the mass murder, trying to make his father, Death himself, proud so that he can ascend and take his throne. So that's the basic, <laughs> that's the basic gist. Okay. <laughs> so before talking about your book, I want to know about you. What is your education and uh, where you grown up and all? Okay. So I was born in Gloucestershire. Um, and then I moved to Hereford when I was about 10. And it's all countryside around here. It's very, very beautiful with cathedrals and lots of churches. It's very beautiful countryside. And um, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's really, it's really, really gorgeous around here. The weather's like at the moment it's raining, but okay. an hour ago it was really sunny. <laughs> so, what is your education? My education, okay. Well, I always wanted to be a writer, even when I was very, very little. And I've had poetry published when I was 13, and for a couple of years after that. And I sent off novels, but I never really got anywhere. So I had a break, and I decided to do catering. So I did confectionery courses, and I have a master's in that. Um, then I went back to writing after a major illness prevented me from doing that. So I went back to writing and I have a level three in fiction writing. So that's literally all my education in writing apart from my GCSEs. So I got lucky. <laughs> so you're more into fiction. Yeah, I love I love fiction. I love making things up around around things that are like facts, but embellishing the facts. So, yeah, it's it's, it's cool. <laughs> I love your hair, by the way. I have to say that I love your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. really cool. <laughs> I think you have a blue color on your hair. Blue, yeah, always blue. Five years it's been blue. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Even my hair was blue, uh, you know, when I put uh, for the first time. Now it became uh, green. It was like dark it. blue. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, why only uh, the friction? Why you wanted to be in a world where uh, nothing is real? Um, I suppose because where nothing's real, I can do any anything goes. There are no rules. 
whereas in real life you have to follow so many rules. You have to do what the big man says. <laughs> whereas in fiction, I can, if I want to fly, if my characters want to fly, they can fly. If they want to breathe fire, they can breathe fire. And although I set the rules for the story, they're my rules. <laughs> so I'm not being told how to manipulate my characters. I'm doing it myself. So yeah, I don't like rules. <laughs> okay, okay. So are you a social person or you want to be alone most of the time? Me, um, okay, well this is my very, 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 very first video interview ever. So I, yeah, that's why I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's okay, feel um, free. <laughs> I am, I'm generally on my own, yeah, I'm usually on my own, I have a little cottage, and I'm in the, the study at the moment, it's like very small, very small, but yeah, I'm usually by myself 90% of the time, but I have my dog, who's a little springer spaniel, and I have a son, so I'm not completely alone, but yeah, usually by myself, writing, <laughs> or reading, lots of reading too. <laughs> So, what are the characters that you created? Right, I have um, a girl, and she's she's 16. Her name is Lily Honeystar. Now, she starts off as the suspect, but she's literally woken up, and she has no idea what's happened. So, it's just this carnage around her. So, I'm trying not to say too much. <laughs> but she's... She's a beautiful girl. She has hazelnut skin and gorgeous eyes and she wears a bindi. Yeah. So, and she's, she's just a really lovely hippie style girl. So she's like the, one of the main characters that I want you to fall in love with because she's like everyone's best friend. So, <laughs> and then I have Xander. Now, Xander is an angel of death. Literally, with the wings. <laughs> and um, he just wants to make his dad proud of him. But his, his dad's got lots of other children who are all fighting for his throne, for death's throne. And um, he doesn't see many of his children, so they have to do something outstanding to be seen. So he wants to crack this murder and find out who did it. So that he can say to his dad, hey, look at me, be proud of me, I did something great. But it, it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> um, and then Stacy. Well, Stacy's a detective. So she's, she's, um, sorry, my thing rolled. <laughs> she's um, looking at the case from the detective's view and trying to analyze what's happening. But she's getting pulled into these other realms because of Xander. She knows something's not right about him. And she starts following him. And that leads her into other realms as well with him. So that's really kind of, yeah. <laughs> so there's the, the realms are the spirit realm. That's where the angels are. The fae realm. That's the fairies. The fae and all that kind of fantastical creatures and the human realm. So that's where Lily is. So they all intermingle and cross over trying to find out what's happening and who did the murder. So. <laughs> nice. How much time you took write, uh, to write this book? Oh, it took me two years. Approximately two years. Yeah. So quite a, quite a long time. Quite a long time. Okay. So, I, I'm not one of the fastest writers. <laughs> I'm quite a slow writer. <laughs> okay. So, is this your first book? Yeah, this is this is my debut. Yeah, and the second book is hopefully coming out this year. So that's a continuation from this one. And so I've got lots of updates, actually, well, if I show you this. This is my website, because I forget what it's called. <laughs> and nice. it's carrieweston.ampbk.com. 
and I've got lots of character interviews. So I interview my own characters, which is very strange. And yeah, I do talk to myself a lot. <laughs> so I've got um, games on there and lots of news of what's going on and what's coming up and if there's giveaways coming up and freebies and stuff like that so that everyone can get involved and have some fun, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> What will what what will you dream, and what will be your dreams? What are your dreams you get in your sleep in your sleeping? Uh, my dreams for my career, I would just like people to enjoy what I write and to say, yeah, I wanna I wanna find a book by Carrie, by Carrie Weston. I want a book, and uh, that would be that that would that would be amazing. That would be so amazing. <laughs> That would be, yeah. Okay. So, so your website is about? Excited. Yeah. Your website. Your website is about? Your sorry? blog is about? Your blog is about? Oh, sorry. My, my blog is about, um, it's all the tips that I can give on writing that I've learned from my publisher and bits that I've learned from other people and all through my course so that hopefully I can help and inspire other people to write or at least use it because there's a lot of mental health issues out there at the moment writing and journaling can really help people feel like it's not all them that they're not alone that they can get it out on paper rather than letting it in here so just to to really help people in writing, understanding, and as much as I can give back. <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> Who is your inspiration? My son. My son is my inspiration. He's my, he's my world. <laughs> um, he just, he asked for a book for boys. Um, it's for girls as well, but boys, boys can put this in their school bag and not worry about it being pink with fluffy unicorns. <laughs> so it's okay for boys to pull it out of their school bag. <laughs> um, he said there's not very many. He's read the Harry Potter and he's read some of the others and he's like, well, what do I read next? There's, there's, I read them all. And I said, <laughs> I said I'd write him a story with unicorns and angels the boys could read too. The boys could say, "Oh, okay, that's got a, it's got a bit of gore in it, and it's got a bit of, I don't know, it's not fluffy unicorns. My unicorns are twisted. They're, <laughs> they're very dark. It's all very dark. It's not, it's not fluffy at all. <laughs> so um, hopefully, hopefully it interests boys and girls, and that they be. Well, I've had them." Um, uh, school children read it and they're quite happy reading it pulling it out in front of each other <laughs> and a mixed group of boys and girls so that was brilliant that was fantastic so yeah <laughs> what is the emotion that you want to create in the people who read your book hmm. i want i want them to learn along with xander as a character he starts off very arrogant very very arrogant and very i don't know maybe self-worshipping he, he absolutely adores himself and no one else he thinks very little of everyone else and as he goes through he learns that he's not as important as he thought and that it's okay to like other people and actually they have some good ideas really <laughs> so as he learns and becomes what i call a normal human as he becomes a normal human, then uh, he gets nicer and and more malleable as a person. So people enjoy his company more. And I want I want his readers to feel like, you know what? Yeah, he he did something wrong, but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. Or he did something right, but that doesn't mean he's he's the best person in the world make them think for themselves to yeah 
to make them wonder. Wonder. That's it. It's wonder. <laughs> so, yeah. To make them... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, are you the same person who uh, admires yourself more like the character that you created? Um, <laughs> the characters I created are very, very embellished. Um, I would say, yeah, you should probably get a sense of who I am from some of the characters. <laughs> yeah. Um, a sense of um, life experiences as such, so that I totally immerse in one character because I write points of view. So you have Blaze's point of view, and then you'll have Stacy's, and then Xander's and Lily's, so that I can show you from all different angles the scene, and you can try and figure out what's happening. Because I like the mystery. I like you to be able to figure it out yourself if you can and then find out if you're right because you might not be right <laughs> but yeah yeah I'm like a couple of the characters but you have to read it <laughs> have you released this book sorry this book is released or uh... Xander Chase and the Unicorn Code, this one. This one's yeah, yeah. out now. It's out now uh, on Amazon. This one's out now, yeah. And the second one is coming out hopefully at the end of this year. So, and then there'll be one after. <laughs> Maybe two, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's all a, each book has a story, but they all have an undercurrent. So that undercurrent continues through the series so that you're not left completely unsatisfied. I like to have an end into the story and then a continuation. So that's always more effective, so, I find. So this is completely your uh, imagination. Yeah. Yeah, there are some facts in there, facts about blue moons and how they happened in Krakatoa so many years ago. Um, facts about certain conditions in the world. I mean, Herefordshire is mentioned in here because it's nice countryside. So I wanted to I wanted to have my home city in there. <laughs> Just a little bit of childishness. <laughs> we got to do that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there are facts in there, but they're all embellished, very embellished. So you can find something that is true, like for instance, how Xander finds his way south would be the same as how birds find their way south. It's a fact, but I've said that the angel does it that way, not the birds. <laughs> so that it's it's embellished. Yeah. <laughs> so can I say that you hate reality? Sorry? Can I say that you hate uh, reality? Yeah. Hate a reality. Yeah, that's good. I like that. <laughs> That's very good. That's a great expression. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking you. Do you? I mean. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Because it's like. <laughs> I just like that expression now. Yeah. It's um. It's in there. And it's like the human world. It's realistic to a degree. And. Yet you're going in and out of these fantasy realms that coexist alongside it. So yeah, definitely, yeah. So you, uh, in the reality, you can't alter things, you can't change things because things will not be in your control. If it is your imagination, you can do whatever you want. You can make things to fly, you yeah. can make things to swim, you can make things to drive yes. vehicles, you can make... <laughs> We can to create like, things swim like a mermaid. Yeah, we can do it all. We can destroy things. <laughs> yes, lots of destruction as well. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. 
<laughs> so what your book contains destruction construction uh, emotion generation or uh, provoking or uh, trying to uh, or you are trying to pull people from the reality and put in the put in your imagination trying to give people an escape um for instance i remember being the not so popular girl at school <laughs> i'm a bit wacky i'm a bit eccentric not very eccentric um but not popular and i always went to the library i was always the girl with the book in her hands going like this oh wow where can i go now that's not here so i wanted to give that to someone else i wanted to say hey look you can pick this book up and although you're in reality you can be in this fantasy reality where you can have the characters as your friends you can know them really well and and it just immerse yourself into that i don't know it's just fantastical place it's just so it's such an escape i'm so i'm so excited <laughs> It's just it's nice to be able to feel all your cares and all your worries everything just shuts off while you're reading that book and all it is is that book and their problems they're not your problems they're theirs but you can go along with them and you can you if they're flying you're flying you can see what they see it's it's magical writing is just magic it's amazing You're so happy. <laughs> yes, I like to be happy. There's no point being sad, is there? <laughs> And I laugh a lot. It is very good that uh, you are creating all the things in your mind and you're living in your imagination. You're just coming out from your imagination only to eat food or to to do some basic yes. things and you're going again into your imagination and you're living uh, life like you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's living life how you want. How you find everyone has their own dreams and it's nice to live that dream. So, yeah, it's it's great. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I can I I I interviewed a lot of people uh, who live in different parts of the world, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. and uh, uh i did interviews i did, i took interviews of uh, different people from different parts of the world sri lanka bangladesh south africa netherlands uk united states oh uh, i've been i've been watching some of them i have i've been watching some of the different ones they're really interesting i don't know how you remember all your questions though <laughs> but uh, you are the only person uh, who is living completely i mean most of your time in imagination and you are feeling very happy to be in your imagination and you want to disconnect from the reality and your own you are the only person who said you hate reality and i hate reality you and me same oh good good <laughs> showing the love look <laughs> to you awesome because a uh, human being uh, faces a lot of problems only in reality you know if you disconnect from the reality if you go into the imagination you can create whatever you wanted like we discussed yeah. you can do whatever yeah. you wanted and i think that is the best way of living i think you are the only human being uh, uh, i know <laughs> for living uh, like you wanted well, thank you <laughs> i love your smile thank you So, do you have anything to say to my audience and to the world who watches this video? Yeah, thank you for interviewing me. It's been awesome. Really awesome. And uh thank you so much to everyone who's watching and readers and just thank you. <laughs> just a big love and big thank you. <laughs> wow. 
So can I put this video on my YouTube channel with your permission? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. I want you to live in your imagination. Uh, whenever I get another thought, I'll try to message you. For some time, uh, if you wanted to come, just come and tell about some things. I'll do one more video with you. Yeah. Oh wow! Thank you. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> what is your next book? Uh, my next book. I can't say yet. I'm sworn to secrecy right now. <laughs> okay. But okay. it's out at hopefully at the end of this year. But I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated. So. Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nice hair. So I will see you soon. I want you to be happy like you are being right now. So I want to continue what you are doing and do what you love, like you said. Yeah. Oh, thank you, and you. And these are amazing little opportunities for everyone. And I hope it goes really, really well. So thank you for interviewing me. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for giving your time. Yeah. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>